Hello, everyone. Hi. What are we talking about? Uh, movies. Movies. Got that, it. Yeah. Movie. Yeah, we're talking <laughs> movies that need to be talked about. Talked about more. More. Yeah. 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 We work in an environment uh, where there's a lot of people in one room. Right. Um, and a lot of times we ask someone, hey, have you seen this movie? They go, no. No. And it's movies that you think people have seen. Yeah. You think a lot of people have seen, and then you realize a lot of people don't watch movies like we watch movies. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, we've been trying to get most of the newsroom on board with The Prestige. Trying. A lot Try. of, surprisingly, a lot of people have not watched not The Prestige. Seen, I kind of thought The Prestige was like a huge movie. Yeah, no. Not at the box office, obviously. For Cinephiles. For Cinephiles, yeah. huge movie, you yeah. know, but um, no. No. Today, we're going to talk about movies definitely that people have seen, but more people should see it. Yeah. And we'll give you a couple reasons why. Or they're just not getting the love they deserve. Yeah. Or they're so old that people forgot about them. Well, the whole you're so old joke. <laughs> that would be so old. Knock, knock. Who's there? You're old. <laughs> I'll start. I'll start. Okay. With, from 1979, referenced so much that no one even knows yeah. that it's from this movie, Injustice for All, Al Pacino as a lawyer. And it's just the most bleak movie you've ever seen. But you're out of order comes from this movie. Really? Yeah. See, I've never even seen this movie. Yeah. Wait, you're out of order comes from this? Yes. Why did I think it came from Sin of a Woman? Because they they reference that. Oh, they, okay. In this. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> uh, I mean, they reference that in Sin of a yeah, Woman. Yeah. Uh, but this is directed by Norman Jewison. Obviously, Al Pacino's in it, but you got Jeffrey Tambor, Craig T. Nelson. Yeah. When they're young. When they're young. We, we only really see him when they're old. He's a Baltimore lawyer. Uh, and he's forced to be the lawyer for a judge accused of sexual assault slash rape. Mm -hmm. uh, and they just hate each other. And you see, and that doesn't happen until like halfway in the movie. And that's the plot of the movie. Yeah. But you just see like the bleakest, darkest form of, because, you know, some lawyers are out to do good. Yeah. And Al Pacino's character is that one. Yeah. But everything just goes wrong. The people he's defending, there's the fir his first case, he's like defending someone who didn't commit a murder, but is just stuck in jail. Yeah. Can't get out. Which, 1979, you think, oh, surely that's been solved by now. Nope. We're still hearing stories about innocent people yeah. being in jail forever. Courtroom's still out of order. Yes. Yeah. Uh, entirely out of order. Okay. <laughs> and I think people, you know, you see you're out of order in The Simpsons and reference yeah. everywhere. No one knows where it's from. It's from this movie. Yeah. Please watch it. Listen, you picked an old one. And yeah. I feel like the ones that I've picked are just ones that I, I just think are fun movies that... Mm. Can I... I'm going to get my, like, two combined. Yeah, go That for maybe it. doesn't totally fit on the list, but I feel like in the grand scheme of things are... You may you can make your case here yeah. to the public. And, and so let's talk about the MCU for a little bit. Yeah. You know, that mm -hmm. there there's, like, almost 30-something movies now. There's two in particular that I feel like that do not get the same kind of love that they should. And that's one is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Yeah. I feel mm -hmm. like you talk about how huge one was, how fun it was. You talk about how like sad three was and how it was the end. Yeah. But people kind of forget that there's a great movie right in the middle. You know, there's like references. Yeah. The Mary Poppins thing gets referenced a lot. But that's about it. It, it came and went. Yeah. And you, it's, you had Baby Groot survive, but yeah. what else from that movie no, survived? Like, you know, Mantis, <laughs> you know, this is where we meet Mantis. Yeah. Russell, uh, uh, Kurt Russell is incredible in this movie. Mm -hmm. I also think that, and a lot of this is probably because of uh, COVID and then because of like other Marvel issues, but I feel like we're not talking about uh, Shang-Chi enough. Yeah. You know, it's then like- How has there not been a sequel like, yet? Like, why are yeah. we not talking about Shang-Chi the way that we talk about the Winter Soldier? Like, the fights of the Winter yeah. Soldier, mm -hmm. you know? Because most of Shang-Chi is incredible. Like, yeah. the like all the fighting is awesome. Yeah, it gets a little CGI at the end. But, like, everyone shares the, the crazy knife fight and the crazy elevator fight from Winter Soldier. But that, where's that kind of love for, for these fights, yeah. you know? It's just kind of strange that, like, because I love this movie. Yeah. And that it just everyone in in the top. Oh, what's your top five? This it's like it. Neither of those two are mentioned. Yeah, and it's kind of 
baffling because they're kind of two of my favorites. Yeah. You know? Well, Shang Chi is because COVID. Yeah. Like, a lot of people just want to forget. Yeah. And, and, that and this is the there. beginning of like, is Marvel like, are they okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and it also has Aquafina, which people yeah, well, yeah. have hard opinions about. Yeah. Going back to Guardians. Do you think people forget about it because it's kind of in the shadow of Infinity War and Endgame, right? Yeah, right. Like it comes out right before Infinity War. Come, no, it comes out 2017, so like a, yeah, a year yeah, before, yeah. you know. And people were like, well, they're not showing up in Infinity War. And they kind of do, kind of yeah. don't. I mean, they're in it a lot, but they're not the main focus. Yeah. I mean, mm. people didn't talk about it yeah. more. Because Baby Groot is cute, but cute. there's more to the movie Michelle, than that. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good. The soundtrack's great. I mean, it's, yeah. yeah, come on. I want to talk about an Aubrey Plaza movie, which I reviewed for oh, our yeah. channel, mm -hmm. Black Bear. Not a lot of people... Wait, is that the... Is that the call it the student loan one? No. No, that's the... That's Emily the, the Criminal. criminal oh, which also okay. people should okay. talk about. That one doesn't have that uh, great of an ending, but uh, Black Bear, she... I'm not going to try to spoil the movie because the whole point of the movie is what happens in it but basically she's a struggling writer slash filmmaker and she goes to like stay out in the wilderness with this couple and then this drama happens okay i think i remember that. uh but it's like a part one and part two and it's different versions of that same thing and i'm not going to spoil but it's insane it's well it's not insane it's just really well acted drama yeah uh, lots of fighting uh christopher abbott's also in it who's you know He's not in a lot of stuff, but he's in a lot of stuff. Is he about to blow up? Wolfman? Maybe. We'll see. Who knows? He's a really great actor. Yeah. In this, he's really great. Aubrey Plaza is just playing two different types of characters in this movie. And it's just really fun. And I think more people should be aware of it just because of how like trippy it is. Because it is like two acts. But yeah, it's just really it's shot really well. Uh the director, I can't I didn't write the director's name down, but I think going to do great things in the future. I, I want to talk about it so much because there's heavy spoilers, yeah. well, but don't. it would ruin the film. It would ruin the film. Just go see it. Yeah. Just watch it. Just um, go watch it. Listen, have you ever thought about no. the competitive world of gymnastics? I'm not. <laughs> do you know where I'm going with this? Are you going to talk about the Olympic one with Sebastian Stan? Oh, no. Oh, okay. I'm talking about a little movie called Stick It. Troubled... Uh, Teenage girl, yeah. um, she is into punk rock and skating, and she's got like some goofy friends. Uh, she gets in trouble, and part of her punishment is to go back to the old uh, gymnastics team that yeah. she was a part of, and she was really oh, good yeah. at. I remember the trailer. Yes, then. yeah, and Jeff Daniels. No, yeah. sorry, uh, Jeff Bridges. Oh. <laughs> Jeff Bridges <laughs> is their coach. Yeah, so. is their coach ends up kind of being like inspiring them to mm. break the rules a little bit more yeah. like and and to have fun with the sport it's just a lot of fun and it's just like yeah this these two worlds of like punk rock and you know and, and gymnastics kind of you know fused together yeah also kind of before i mean like gymnastics has always been a huge gym you know like olympic mm. sport yeah but i feel like now that is like one of the main reasons people watch. Yeah. And I this mean, is a little yeah. bit earlier than that, you know? So yeah. before the resurgence. Yeah. There are these movies that I remember watching growing up and thinking about like all these everyone should watch. It's it's why all fun. It, why didn't it yeah. puncture the pop yeah. culture more? Yeah. yeah. Or even like on DVD, you'd think like, why didn't this mm -hmm. blow up when it hit, you know, video? Yeah. I think about that a lot too. Yeah. A lot of these movies that just sit in the five dollar Walmart bin. Yeah, like that, and like you know, same vein. Like, um, I'm a big fan of Orange County, oh, and I, yeah. you know, and it's like I don't really understand why a story like that, a comedy like that, that is, you know, very sincere, mm -hmm. but also very silly, and also the thing, the biggest challenge you face growing up is like, what are you, what are you going to do with your life, yeah. and how are you going to get out of your town? And I just, it, it's it's kind of crazy that it didn't like resonate more or that like, it's not a movie, it's not a breakfast club where people are like, well, I don't even think the breakfast club is really the breakfast yeah. club anymore. But it you know, is, like when yeah. we were younger, breakfast club was like, wow, yeah, you know, being a teenager. Yeah. You Orange know? County, like, man. But yeah. What a movie. It's just really fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Fun soundtrack. I mean, Jack Black's great. G great cast. Yeah. So nowadays it's like aged very well. I yeah. yeah. The I, casts, just, I want people to like go back and watch it and be like, Wow, this is just really nice, and yeah. I don't have to like. You I know. think I think the problem is is that's all we got back yeah. then. Yeah. So 
I think there was quite a bit of burnout post American Pie. Well, maybe, well, and it's like that's the thing. It's not American. It's not like it's not. I know, but really people, wrong. yeah, and it's, they, everyone it's thought, that yeah, <laughs> everyone's like, oh, it's it's an MTV movie. They're trying to be American Pie, and then it and really then it is, wasn't. It's just a really nice story. Yeah. And if you're a writer and someone who loves literature, mm-hmm. it is very, like, wow, you know, yeah, cool. Speaking of like, you know, that type of feeling of losing something i want to talk about a documentary that i watched called shirkers on netflix basically it's about uh these singaporean uh girls want to make a movie they want to make the co- the country's first indie road like movie yeah and this is like 1992 but they meet this american man who's much older than them and it's a documentary about like how he helps them make the movie but it's also weird yeah and steals the movie from them uh i'm not going to give anything yeah. else away but you get to see what that that movie uh they are making uh sandy tan is she's the filmmaker that makes it but she made that sh- sh- film and also did this documentary and she's a writer now uh it's just amazing how you can see like oh this is a hundred percent a classic yeah. lost the time because they don't you only hear it with without sound it's just really good yeah. and i want people to watch this documentary just because it's like it's what filmmaking or trying to become a filmmaker is like because yeah. you're probably not going to succeed the odds are against you regardless you got to work so hard in order to, to succeed in hollywood and out and anything outside of that is like impossible like i think of jeff nichols as well it's yeah. like amazing filmmaker can't get any box office success no. whatsoever. Yeah, he doesn't like, want that. I don't yeah, think, he does. He know. doesn't care about that. Yeah. But in order to make movies, you kind of have, have to have to. that. Yeah. So it, it thinks of like Jeff is doing this amazing work, but not a lot of people are seeing yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, I we could talk about Jeff forever. <laughs> yeah. We, I think we have a lot of we we talk a lot about movies throughout this channel that yeah. like are a hundred percent movies that more people should talk about. I mean, like we did yes. a whole sci-fi you know that jeff is on sci-fi yeah, list and yeah. like and, just, and we'll just be like hey you know what's a crazy movie you know that, so this is really maybe i know it's not a big list no but if you just go watch all the other videos think, you're gonna you're yeah. gonna you know and what's crazy is but you know everyone thinks we're talk we're like pulling things like out of the hat like yeah. movies people never heard of there are even crazier cinephiles that have watched like eight thousand oh, yeah. movies that know about even more that's why i love about letterboxd it's yeah. like there's these dudes that have just been watching movies their whole lives yeah. that can tell you about something that only 30 people have seen, and it's probably like a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Like a five-star movie. Oh, I, I, there's one just uh, that I, I heard about on a podcast. Uh, it's called Demon Seed. Have you yeah. ever heard about Demon I've Seed? I've heard about Demon Seed. Where yeah. it's just like, yeah. God, if that, like, is like terrifying. I mean, not it was yeah, terrifying yeah. then, but, you know, it's like the idea of, like, artificial intelligence, like, trying to, you know, impregnate a, a, <laughs> the cre- it, its creator's, like, wife. Yeah. You're like, yeah, crazy. Like and AI's here, yeah, you yeah, know. Like yeah. AI back then was like, <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's nothing. Maybe yeah. it'll never be anything. Yeah. And now we're like, it's here. Meta's here, you know. Like just give those weird movies a try. Yeah. If you're scrolling through Netflix or Max or Hulu or whatever, there's always that one weird thumbnail. Where you're like, huh, I'm interested. Just go watch those movies sometimes. Yeah. Then you can go back to your Fast and Furious or your your major tentpole movies. Yeah. Uh, but also maybe go watch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two again. again. I know, I know, I know. Like again, I'm breaking the list, but I just think when you're thinking about the grand scheme of yes. like that, like even blockbusters within the know? within the confines of the Marvel Cinematic yeah. Universe, it's, or, it's yeah, a or like gym, blockbusters yeah. in yeah. general. You know yeah. that it's like we have we have crazy blockbusters that rule. Yeah, that like no one ever talks about again. No. What is the what is the ice hockey rock movie? What the game plan is that it? The game plan has the rock. Oh, the, is it the ice hockey one? No, that's a, the game plan is the football one. Yeah, the tooth fairy, I think, is the hockey one. Okay, right? Uh, no, I have no the idea. The game plan is he's got a, a surprise daughter, yeah, and then and but he's on a football team. Oh, okay, and I think the tooth fairy is he's a hockey player who then has to become the tooth fairy, okay. Basically, my point is, The Rock's got a lot of crazy movies, too, that you should probably just go watch because they're kind of corny. Yeah. Remember, is it Snitch? Snatch? Snitch? Snitch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lock and Tall remake. 
Oh, that's yeah. a remake? Before before Kevin Sorbo took over the sequels or oh, whatever. Well, yeah. He deserves that. <laughs> but yeah, that's Walking Tall was a remake. I saw it in theaters. About that, yeah. yeah, anyways. Hmm. Just go watch the rock movies for fun in general. I will not. Mm-hmm.